hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is pindi pindi let originally from south africa but currently living in poland and poland it's in europe guys before we go far with this video i would like to say thank you so so much for 1000 subscribers oh my goodness i'm so so happy i cannot believe that finally we are on 1000 subscribers i mean i knew that at some point i will get to 1000 subscribers but i just like I don't believe it that we are on 1000 subscribers thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for helping me get to this number so please don't stop subscribing if you are new here please make sure that you don't live without subscribing please make sure that you help me get to 1500 now i mean like yeah. oh my goodness i'm so happy oh I, yo, I don't know what to say and anyway i know that they will I know that I said there will be a giveaway when we reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm still trying to figure out the details and everything about this giveaway. There will definitely be a giveaway and I'll probably announce it on the next coming video. So I'm still thinking about it and I just want it to be as fair as possible because i've noticed that i do have subscribers who are not from south africa because this giveaway it will be from south africa so i just noticed that i have subscribers who are not from south africa and so i'm trying to figure out how to go about this giveaway so anyway guys thank you so so much i'm so so happy like really really happy so without wasting any time let's get on to this video so guys as you could have seen by the title of the video today i'm uh, making a video that is job related uh, this is a video on how you can get a job in Poland as a teacher and when is the right time for you to apply for a job to become a teacher in Poland. And I was so surprised. The reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people are coming into my DMs on Instagram and some of them are sending me emails. And 50% of those of this people are people who are already in Poland and they are asking me how to get a job as an English teacher in Poland. And and for me that was really strange because if you are in poland there are a lot of sites a lot of sites websites where you can go and search for jobs and you can get jobs you know so for me i was a bit surprised but if you are in south africa or if you are in another country and you're telling me that okay it's very difficult for me to to get a job i don't know which websites i should use i don't know where to go or what to do then i can be like ah okay maybe then you are struggling to find websites or stuff like this but if you are already in poland this shouldn't be hard it should be a walk in the park so make sure that you stay tuned until the end of this video because towards the end of the video i'll be sharing the sites and where you should where exactly you should go to try and find a job so please make sure that if you're new here my darling my sweetheart please make sure that you don't live without subscribing and help me grow my channel i'm trying to get to 1500 subscribers now so please make sure that you watch up to the end and please make sure that you don't live without subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber my darling my sweetheart thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for your love and, lo and your loyalty please make sure that you don't live without like commenting and sharing this video so that it can help other people also and if you are a new subscriber darling sweetheart welcome to my channel and thank you so so much for subscribing and helping me grow my channel i really really appreciate it so please make sure that you don't leave without liking commenting sharing this video so that it can reach other people who might need my help okay okay <laughs> probably sitting there and wondering when is the right time to apply for a job in Poland as an English teacher well you've come to the right place because I'm going to tell you now right now as we are speaking take your pen take your paper and listen to me very carefully because at this point at this time as I'm talking to you is the right time for you to start applying for a job okay right now as I'm talking to you it's the right time for you to start applying for a job why am I saying that the reason why I'm saying that is that now, this month, is the end of the school year. I think the school year ends in somewhere towards the end of June. So we are on, in June right now and kids will start having summer holidays. So that means the school year is finishing in Poland. So the school year is the end. 
you understand it's the end so now it means that other teachers are leaving their jobs or the schools most of the schools are looking for new teachers for the next school year so they start recruiting now so that by the time this by the time the school year starts which will be in september they will have new teachers for the school so normally what they do is now if you go to this website that i will tell you about later you will find that they are looking for teachers but they are looking for teachers for the next school year so from may that's when the school starts taking out like um the ads about jobs so if you go on this website you will see that from may june there are a lot of schools there are a lot of schools that are looking for teachers so so now from august the school are preparing to come back so now that's when they start training teachers or they start welcoming new teachers but this the kids are still not at school because they start school first of september or any other day uh, it can be the first the second it depends when september is starting for them when the first monday of september it will be so in during august i think two weeks uh two weeks uh into august or three weeks into august that's when they start training teachers that's when they start having meetings about the um, the entire school year that's when they start introducing teachers to each other so another point that i need to make is that uh as an english teacher you can apply for a job as a teacher in nursery uh, or you can apply for a job as a kindergarten teacher or you can apply for a job as a primary teacher or a secondary teacher because there are schools that are providing english lessons from nursery up to secondary school so like i said towards the end of this video i will tell you everything about the schools and the websites where you can go and get like all these polls that i'm talking about and like i said guys don't just come and say oh i'm only looking for a job in a primary i don't want to work with kids blah 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 blah. so if you don't have experience in working with kids some schools they do train you some schools they tell you that okay we are specifically looking for people who have experience in working with kids okay some schools they will tell you okay we will prepare you everything you need we will make sure that you have this okay <music> another point i need to make is that a lot of people have been asking me okay what about accommodation what about flight uh the flight ticket guys you cannot expect the school to give you everything okay so now what happens is in some schools or the ones that i know at least the ones that i know uh they normally let me say you apply and you are in south africa you will normally have an online interview like maybe skype or other um, other places where they they are comfortable in having the meeting so you will have the interview after the interview if they are happy with you that's when they will start the process of um the work permit and then after they get the work permit and all the necessary documents for you then they will send it to you then you have to go to the embassy and start up start the process of applying for a visa so you need to apply for a visa by yourself they will send you all the documents your contract everything so that you can take it to the embassy after you have this documents and you go to the embassy i think to apply for a work visa at the embassy i'm not sure i don't know i'm just assuming that it's probably like three weeks and then after three weeks you get it three or four weeks you get your visa and then that's when you can start preparing for your trip and everything most schools that i know they don't pay for your plane ticket talking from my experience or from the information that i got from the people that i spoke with they don't pay for their tickets when it comes to accommodation some of them they do help with accommodation some of them they don't help with accommodation so what they will do when they help you with accommodation they will tell you okay we will find you accommodation and but we will only find you accommodation for a month or two then after that you need to find yourself accommodation some of them they will tell you okay we can recommend places or people who can help with accommodation or they can send you like um pictures of accommodation and numbers and you have to contact the people by yourself but if you don't speak polish then they can help you 
with that but you need to pay everything by yourself like deposit and the rent you need to pay it by yourself so if you want to if you if you are sure that you really really want to apply for a job make sure that you save enough money for you to be able to get yourself accommodation for you to be able to apply for a visa because some schools at least the ones that i know this is how they work so now let me get back to this point after you have applied after you've had your interview they will up, they will prepare all the documents the necessary documents for you and then you have to take them and go to the embassy by yourself and start applying for your visa and everything after you got your visa that's when you can start um preparing for your trip so that means the trip you have to pay it by yourself at least from the from the people that i've had and from the experience that i have so that means you need to play to pay for your own plane ticket and another thing if you need to pay for accommodation some schools they will help you for a few months and say that okay after one or two months you need to find accommodation for yourself or they will tell you that okay we have a um, list of where you can find accommodation. If you have problem with communication, we can help you with communica communication, but you will need to pay everything by yourself. I hope I'm clear, okay? So now moving on to the most important part of this video, the websites where you can find this job, the website that I normally use, actually not normally, I always use when I'm looking, when I'm searching for a job and this website, I trust it because I have used it and I've, I've never had any problems with it and all of that. So the first website that you can use is OLX. I will just list it here so that you can see. And if I can, I'll just make a, a screen on how you can go about it. So you have OLX, you can go on OLX. And when you get to OLX, go under work. Okay. And under work, you will find t education. And then on education, just click on education. And then you will see under education, it will say all the types of education they have. Then you as an English teacher, you need to go where it says teaching foreign language. Okay, teaching foreign language on this on, <laughs> on this teaching foreign language, that's where you will see all the languages that all the teachers, all the foreign language teachers that are needed. It can be English, it can be German, it can be Spanish, it can be who 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 and who 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 and ha ha ha. Okay, so under this teaching foreign languages, that's where you will find all all the languages that you need or all the jobs that need language teachers. Okay, yes. <laughs> So hey guys, here I'm trying my best to show you on how to use OLX. So you can just type OLX PL, that means Poland. And under this, you will see all the categories. So as you can see, my phone is changing from Polish to English. So that's how it normally works. Uh, so you will go under work and under work on the filters, you have to go to education under work you go to education and then teaching foreign languages and under teaching foreign languages that's where you will find all the english teaching jobs it can be english spanish german like i told you and also on the filters you can choose any location you want you can choose any city that you want and that's when you will find all the schools and you can just start applying you have to download your cv Okay, so another website that you can use that will be helpful for you, it can be Indeed. So on Indeed, you can also register your profile and upload your CV. I think there you need to upload your CV. I'm not familiar with it, but it also help. And then on the categories, you need to specify that you want a job in a specific country. If you're looking for Poland, you can say you want in Poland. 
and it doesn't matter which city another thing guys there's a lot of different cities just because i live in wrotswap it does not mean that someone should specifically look for wrotswap so you can type any city that you want just search about poland and search about the cities that are there and then just put the city that you want because i'm 100 percent sure that in poland in every, not 100 percent sure like 95 percent sure i'm 95 percent sure that in poland in every city there is a private school there is a private school because there are private schools in some small towns in some small some small villages you can find a private school so why why can't you find a private school in a city so make sure that you go on indeed also and register your profile and upload everything blah 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 okay but on class though also register your profile and after registering your profile start applying my darling okay so another thing you can do like i said in every city in poland you find a private school so what you need to do after talking to me or right now as i'm talking to you just go and search private schools in poland after searching private schools in pro in poland then you when you go let me say you find um uh, a private school in warsaw or a private school in Wrocław. on this private school just go to their website and go to vacancies guys under vacancies you will definitely find a job under vacancies you will definitely find that this school is looking for teachers i'm saying this because i don't want to say the names of the schools but i'm saying this because in this city that i am i did go on on uh on the website pages of all the private schools and believe me when i'm telling you that the private schools at this point the ones that have looked in this city which is wrotswaf the ones that have looked they are definitely looking for teachers they are definitely looking for teachers and another thing is that if you don't find uh private schools search private kindergartens search private kinder kindergartens guys baby girl baby boy you will definitely find um private kindergartens that are looking for for english teachers so please as long as it says private teach i mean private kindergarten or private school that school needs english teachers so please make sure that when we finish this video please make sure that you go on your google guys uncle google is always there always there able to help you so please go to uncle google first before you come into my inbox and asking me questions go there and ask me questions that you found on uncle google so that i can see that you you've done your homework okay because i'm giving you homework right now guys i'm giving you homework right now oh guys before i forgot before i forget uh, i know a lot of people will be coming and asking me about the qualifications and everything so if you have a university degree or some higher education qualifications um i think other schools they can take you even if you didn't study teaching i think other schools can take you but you definitely need to join that with your tefl so i know getting tefl it's completely easy so please make sure that from today you go online and you register for this i can give you a website where you can go and register for this it takes you like it doesn't take you long to obtain this particular certificate okay so guys please make sure that after this video you sit down you think about this especially especially if you want to go and explore the world like i told you it doesn't have to be poland it can be any other european countries that need english teachers or it can be asian countries guys people um a lot of south africans if you're south african or if you are from any other country a lot of native speakers are making money in asia okay so explore you can just go for one year and just come back home all right so just go and explore and please 
make sure that you comment down below and you let me know what you think about this video i would really really appreciate it and if you are new here my darling my sweetheart please make sure that you don't live without subscribing we are still trying to grow this channel and make it bigger than this so thank you so much for watching up to this far and i hope you enjoyed this video bye